Pinning is a post-welding process to relieve stress and reduce distortions in welds. Works by mechanically deforming the weld surface to create beneficial compressive stresses to contract the tensile stresses generated during welding. There are many types of pinning in welding. Short pinning Small, high velocity shorts, usually metallic beads, are directed at the weld surfaces. This induces plastic deformation, creating a layer of compressive stress that improves Rotopinning, it follows the same action of compressing the surface area. However, in rotopinning, you will use multiple metal flaps that extend laterally to form a spindle. The spindle-like tool is inserted into a drilling machine that rotates a speed of 3000 revolutions per minute RPM. The pinning effect takes place when the flaps get in contact with the weld surface. The rotational speed of the spindle determines the energy applied to the weld surface. Needle pinning Needle pinning uses a particular descaling gun that uses multiple needles with a radial shaped head. The needles are hardened steel metal. During pinning, the needle's impact on the swell surface is repeated using a, using a criss-cross motion. Hammer pinning Manual or mechanical striking with a hammer-like tool helps in redistributing stresses and inducing plastic deformation enhancing materials mechanical properties ultrasonic pinning high frequency vibrations are applied to the material promoting grain refinement and inducing compressive stresses how pinning reduces residual stresses Residual stresses in weld structures are often tensile in nature, making the material prone to cracking and reduce fatigue life. And pinning introduces compressive stresses on the surface of the welded material. The mechanical forces applied during pinning induce plastic deformation in material, transforming tensile stresses into compressive stresses near surface. Stretching the weld bit over the surface during pinning creates internal stress on the surface layer which receives corresponding balance from the internal stress and side stress of the parent material. Pinning is a cold work process meaning it occurs at temperatures below the material's recrystallization temperature. Cold working induces changes in the material structure leading to increased dislocation density and deformation hardening. These changes contribute to reduction of residual stresses and enhance the material's mechanical properties. Residual stresses, if not addressed, can contribute to stress corrosion cracking over time. Pinning reduces stress corrosion cracking by modification the stress trait within the material making it more resistant to corrosive effective of the environment.